Why does this bark look like elephant skin? And how does this leaning branch grow upright? Today, we're talking about reaction wood. Let's botanize. Trees have to withstand two types of biomechanic stress. The first is dynamic stress, which includes wind, rain, and pressures from other organisms. The other is static stress, which is the weight of their own bodies. Leaning branches can weigh hundreds of pounds. This imparts compression forces on the bottom side of a branch and tension forces on the upper side of a branch. As the region on the underside of the branch is compressed, it forms these ripples in the bark. If no changes in the wood occur, this branch would eventually sag down. However, in the flowering plants, they produce a special type of reaction wood called tension wood on the upper side of the branch, which helps reorient it. This tension wood is composed of cells that have thicker cell walls and that are structurally reinforced, and there's more of it compared to the lower sides of the branches. In conifers, they produce a different type of reaction wood called compression wood, which reinforces the underside of the branch as opposed to the top side. Reaction wood is an adaptation that allows trees to build massive bodies that grow up as well as out. 